What is up everybody? Welcome back. My name's Danny and this is Outdoor Adventures and Mackenzie has a popsicle. <laughs> so today, thank you. Can you, can you <laughs> let me hold it? <laughs> all right. So today talking about roof racks. I love roof racks. I use them all the time. Hi Mackenzie. We have so many, well, two kids with the dogs and all the camping gear, and trail gear, we're usually limited for space. So I rely on roof racks like crazy. And since we got this Pathfinder, I did a quick one with, let me show you here. This is actually a uh, trailer hitch basket. Yes, I know it's not attached. I already started working on this. And then I was like, hey, if I'm doing this, then maybe somebody else might want to see. So, that's what I had on top of the Pathfinder. You okay, babes? And uh, a while ago, for our... Just a minute. And we're back. So, as I was saying, a while ago, for our uh, pop-up tent, root trailer... Yeah. Hey. Hey, come on now. So, if anyone's ever had one, you know you don't have much space. So, I rigged up this real quick. Two cheap baskets from Walmart. And honestly, ever since I did that, I never liked it because uh, it sags on the roof and hits the roof. And these really aren't meant for any weight up there. I know people do it, but I don't like it. So I had an idea of combining those two cheap Walmart baskets. I'm going to show you how to do it. Well, it's uh, later, it's night time. Took a shower, changed, kids sleeping, but that doesn't really matter. Cause we're here because we want to make two small roof racks into one bigger one. Let me show you how it comes apart and goes back together before we mod it, just so you know what we're working with. As you can see, there's three pieces here to make one. All they do is slide in together. All right, so I grabbed the other roof rack, um, disassembled one ends. So now we have the centerpiece and an end, and a centerpiece and an end. Here is one of the ends that they normally slide into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about right here all the way across so it'll slide so both ends will slide into them Let's see how tall it is. 64 inches. You okay? Okay, I got it. I got it. You're good. Thank you. Thank you, assistant.
there it is. I'm much happier with it now. Fills up the whole roof rail. Um, I got an extra 20 inches out of doing that. So it was, it was 44 inches long before, now it's 64 inches. So that's a big improvement for me. I did have to drill one new set of holes to mount it onto the cross rails, um, but that's no big deal. Like I said before, normally I wouldn't buy these, but in a pinch, I needed them. Uh, the local store had them, and they're about $80 each, so it worked out, and uh, getting the extra 20 inches <laughs> will help out a lot. And so this will work until I either find the one I want or have the time to build one. Hopefully this will help out someone out there. So I'll leave in the description a link where I got these or where you can get them. Go out there, have yourself an adventure, big or small. I appreciate all of you. Thank you again. See ya.